Why is he moaning and making all those faces? You'd be making faces too if you just had an encounter with the dark side. You were just trying to scare me just then, right? I mean, the spell isn't really going to cost me Fox's love, is it? Okay, I told you the spell was going to be expensive. Fox is going to become an incredibly successful businessman, thanks to my hard work. But he may fall out of love with you. But I only asked you to do the spell because I love him and I want him to be happy. Aye, there's the rub. Successful spells don't come cheap, Kay. And the boys in the basement always insist on their due. They will see that Fox is successful, but it'll cost him the love of his life. That would be you. So what you're telling me is that when Fox wakes up, he's not going to love me anymore, and I'm not going to love him? Oh, no, dear, no. It's all quite gradual. But I don't want to lose Fox. I mean, we just found each other. Tabitha, you know how much he means to me. Hey, you begged me to make Fox a success at Grain. Besides, it's not me you have a complaint with. It's the boys in the basement who'll insist on their payment. Yeah, well, I don't care what you promised them. They can't take my love for Fox or his for me. I'm not going to let them. You know what? And if I have to go down there right now and tell them myself... I, 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 I wouldn't advise that. You can't go down there. Hey, I'm not afraid of them. Remember? I'm the girl who sold her soul to the devil once before. What can they do to me? Things you don't want to think about, Kay. No, I'm the only one who can possibly reverse that spell. Well, then do it. It's not going to matter if Fox is successful if we can't be together, okay? And I'm sure he would feel the same way. Isn't that rather presumptuous of you? I mean, maybe he'd love to tell Donald Trump he's fired. No, not if I couldn't be there by his side. He loves me, okay? And he trusts me to do whatever I can to protect that love. You have to help me reverse the spell, Tabitha, please. I asked you over and over again if you were willing to pay the price for Fox's financial success. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was going to cost me our loving each other. Just tell me that you can reverse the spell. What you're asking me is a very tricky thing. I don't care how tricky it is. You have to fix things right now. Don't you order me around, girl. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tabitha. I'm desperate. I'll do anything if you'll just undo the effects of the spell, please. Oh, for Hades sake. It's been a long night, and now this. I, if you don't, I'll expose you as a witch. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Watch me. Kay? Kay, where are you at? He's awake. I have to go to him. Promise me that you will reverse the spell. I'll do my best, but I can't guarantee anything, so take it or leave it. All right, just try your hardest, please. Brad! Why don't you make up your damn mind? There you are. How long are they sleeping? Not long. Yeah? Whew. Tell you what, I had the weirdest dream, though. Yeah? Yeah, I was being held up in the air and spun around like a pig on a spit. Shit, I had an apple in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, I gotta get back to work. Oh, no, uh, you can't. Why is that? You need all the rest you can get, honey, if you're gonna make it at Crane. You know, and, and I love you too much to let you risk your job or your health. Will you relax? What are you so worked up over? It's just that I love you. Oh. Well. Well, I love you, too. I promise I'm never going to let anything come between us, okay? Good. Well, why does it seem like something could? <laughs>